ein Unterschied. There is a clear distinction to be made between the pulse palpation used in traditional Chinese medicine and the palpation used to feel the vascular autonomic signal, also known as VAS. Beyond insight about basic conditions, for example, a weakness of the liver, the lungs, or the heart, the use of the vascular autonomic signal offers a way to dynamically test points and identify which ones, and their exact location, specific to each individual patient, actually requires needling. This, of course, offers an enormous benefit to acupuncturists who, with the use of VAS palpation, can diagnose the body's condition and also dynamically identify the patient's individual and specific treatment needs. In the Chinese medicine, in comparison, using the traditional Chinese medicine pulse, the practitioner must first consider, based on their own theoretical knowledge and clinical experience, what type of treatment approach might apply. For example, after palpating a kidney deficiency, considerations are well, is it a yang or yin chi deficiency? Well, and then there's another consideration. Should I be needling the Renmai or the Dumai meridian? Or also, do the selected points need to be tonified or sedated? All of these treatment considerations can be quickly informed using VAS while passing a 3-volt hammer over the ear to dynamically test all of the body's points reflected there. I began practicing body acupuncture in the early 70s and I saw that if you were treating an ischial pain, you would require 6 to 8 needles, from the foot up to the back, etc. While the physician, Dr. Paul Nogier, credited for discovering the VAS, was treating the same pain with only two needles. All of this, going beyond diagnosis, to test and identify what specific treatment direction is needed, is possible for the experienced practitioner using VAS palpation, which, for the acupuncturist, may be considered a unique form of dynamic extension to the TCM pulse palpation.